Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to uninstall Microsoft Edge permanently. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So before you get on uninstalling the Microsoft Edge browser on your PC, what you need to do first is you have to ensure that you have an alternative browser that you could use. So in this case, I have two extra browsers here. I have my Mozilla uh, Firefox here as well as the uh, uh, Chrome here. So what we need to do here, if you don't have any extra like browsers, go ahead and open up Edge, look for Chrome or Mozilla Firefox and install that into your PC. But yeah, once you've installed it, you are now ready to uninstall Microsoft Edge. Now, first thing that we have to do here is we need to use a third-party tool for us to uninstall Edge. So the first thing is you want to go to google.com and search for Wise Cleaner or Wise Program Uninstaller. Now, in this case, once you've searched for Wise Program Installer, just click on free download and basically install it into your PC. So installing the app itself is pretty easy. You just need to follow the steps and you should be able to install it. Now, once you've installed it, the first thing you want to do is open it up and click on yes if it asks as additional permissions. And from here, it's going to say collecting information. And from here, we want to look for Microsoft Edge. So in this case, you could just type in Edge here and Microsoft Edge should appear on your screen. Now from here, click on Edge and you want to click on the Force Uninstall. Now here it's going to say, please choose force, uh, uh, force Uninstall only when safe uninstall doesn't work. So are you sure to continue? Just click on Yes. And from here, it's going to analyze associated files, folders, and registry entries. So wait for this to complete. And from there, we'll be changing or checking some of the settings. Now in here, you want to ensure that all of the files or folders here are going to be selected. So make sure that you scroll all through these files here and make sure that there's a check next to it. Now, once you've guaranteed all of these files has a check on it, you want to click on the section select all and from here just click on remove and once it completes it's no longer going to show microsoft edge here so whenever we try searching for edge here it's no longer should appear on your screen here but if it did appear or still appearing here well we have to do a few things next so in here you want to go to my wise program and installer again and you want to look for microsoft edge web view in uh web view to runtime and you want to click on uninstall in here just click on force uninstall again and just click on yes and same thing you just need to follow the steps the same steps that we did before and once you've done that once you search for microsoft edge again it's no longer going to appear here so since we uninstalled uh, Edge here, we are not yet done. So we have to delete a few files within our Microsoft Explorer. So in this case, you want to go ahead and open up a folder here and you want to go to the following. First is we have to go to the drive where in Windows is installed. So you know that you installed install there once you see the Windows icon next to it. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to look for the section for program files 86. And from here, you want to scroll down a bit and look for Microsoft. Go ahead and open it up. And from here, you want to look for anything that is related to Edge. So as you can see, we have the Edge folder here, Edge Web View. So you want to select all of those applications or folders and right click on it and click on delete. Now from here, it's going to sometimes say this action can be completed because the folder on file is open in another program. So if that's the case, we have to go ahead and click on cancel here and we want to open up our task manager. So just press on your keyboard, control shift escape, or you could use a search here and just type in task manager. Now from here, what we need to do is you need to look for Microsoft Edge, any application that is related to Microsoft Edge. So in here we have Microsoft applications. So just look for anything that is related to Microsoft Edge. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that we want to do is again, we want to delete a very specific folder. So first thing, open up Windows Explorer again. And all you need to do here is you need to go to Windows and Programs here and you want to go to Windows and under Windows, you want to go to System Apps. So in here, just press on S on your keyboard and you should be able to see System Apps here. And from here, what we need to do is in here, press on the edge and from here, right click on it and you want to delete it. 
Now, if you're unable to delete this folder, so just click on cancel and we have to do the alternative, which is renaming the folder itself. So just click on rename here and you want to add the following, which is going to be underscore disable. Now, once you've added that, just hit on enter to proceed with the changes and just click on yes. And from here, we are done in this step. Now, next thing that we want to do here is we now need to open up the task scheduler. So at the bottom left of your screen, just type in task scheduler here and from here, open it up. Now, in the task scheduler, we need to look for the edge. And if we found edge here, we want to basically disable that. Now, in this case, you want to open up task scheduler library, open up Microsoft here, and you want to open up Windows. Now, under Windows, you want to look for Edge. And if you see Edge in here, you want to basically disable that. Now, once you've done that, we are now ready to the next step. Now, next step is we want to open up the registry editor. So go ahead and go to the search at the bottom left. And from here, just type in registry editor and open the app. And just click on yes if it requires any additional information or permissions. And from here, you want to open up H key a local machine and you want to open up software. Now, under software is you want to go ahead and open up Microsoft. So just scroll down a bit until you see Microsoft here. Open up Microsoft. Again, going back, you want to right click on this one and you want to choose new. First, have to add a new key. Now, in this key, you want to name this folder here exactly what I'm going to show you. So this is going to be named as Edge Update. So in here, we want to add a new just right click on the edge update section here. Make sure that you selected it. Just right click on it in new and you want to D word 32 bit value. Now, again, you want to name this as do not update to edge with Chromium. So it's very important that you name this exactly as this. And once you've done that, you need to double click on it and set the value to one and just click on OK. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.